Hey guys, welcome to AKQ Guy. It is Saturday night, or for most of you, probably Sunday morning already. Um, and since you're not used to getting this on until Sundays, uh, hopefully this won't make too big of a deal. Uh, Jim's Key 123, sorry, it's you're going to be cut short a few hours of your se seven days of uh, being a featured artist, but uh, I really want to get this up and get this out tonight um, because tomorrow I have quite a bit to do. Uh, as of today, I have exactly two weeks to get my stuff together and get the hell out of town. Um, as I told you guys before, I'm having uh, a move in to Wyoming, and uh, there'll be more on that later. But um, so I hope you all, as you seem to, I got it got a lot of hits um, pretty early on for uh, well, not a whole lot, but a lot for me, a lot for my channel. Um, Jim Ski's video, uh, him and his little brother, uh, Dan. Uh, dancing and, and playing and singing to dance tonight um, it seems that you guys thought that was as, as sweet and sincere video as I did and I really appreciate that and uh, this week's artist I actually found out through Jim Ski and Zap as well um, and she again is a very um, sin what I feel to be a sincere singer um, very simple editions of songs or simple writings of her own songs and uh, this is an original piece um, that when I heard it a week and a half ago I was just loved it. it was like that's the next featured artist that's the next featured song I gotta have that song um, it, it is somewhat of a sad song it's kind of a, a moving on song but she does it in such a sweet way her, her voice is so pretty and just sweet it's the only way I can come up with dripping with honey her voice is dripping with honey <laughs> um, that I, I just always enjoy listening to her. She always makes me smile. Even when it's not such a happy song, it still brings a... Even if it's a melancholy smile, it still makes me smile. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy... Uh, I just forgot the name. Uh, Kiko Kena? Coco Kena. I'm so sorry. I had to look. I had it right there and it was gone. <sighs> I'm tired. I'm sorry. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy her song. It is an untitled song. It has a title. I am not aware of it yet. Uh, but I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys kind of review her stuff and enjoy as much as possible. Um, I really appreciate you guys stopping in. I, I originally started this YouTube page, and it might revert to more of my original reasons um, for keeping my family in touch as I leave and have more time on my hands outside of of doing these featured artists, but currently I just haven't had the time to, to vlog as much as I wanted to, um, and so it's not really at this time a way for my family to kind of keep tabs on me. I hope to return to that, but I really do like the fact that I use this as a featured artist site, and I enjoy the fact that it seems to be getting out there, it seems to be getting more popular. Um, so on that note, I'm, I'm really excited by this, and I'm happy to see this continue growing, and hopefully, fingers crossed, yes, in this yes, next couple yes. weeks, and while I'm on the road, I can keep keep a featured artist going. I will be contacting the featured artist later tonight that I would like to feature next week. Um, I think we're going to go a little, a little acoustic. Uh, just music is not, not so much lyrics and, and singing. Um, we'll see. We'll see what they think, if they want to do it. Um, so I, I hope you guys, you seem to dig this week's Future Jars, I hope you dig her. Uh, please pass it on to any friends that you think would love it. Uh, like I said, my mission is just to get a more of an awareness of these fantastic artists out there. So uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, there's been a lot of, of videos right now about the YouTube community, and I would like to put my two cents in on that. Um, that not only have I found this fantastic musical community on, on YouTube, but I think there's also a fantastic community of just of people, friends. I, I now feel like even though I'm leaving Alaska, I have a way of not only keeping in contact with my family and my friends here, but I also seem to have this community of friends online from YouTube that means a lot to me. And I, I never thought I would be one of those people that felt like I had an online community of friends, but I really, really do now have that feeling. And I want to say thank you. I appreciate all you guys' positivity that I get. Um, 
even the occasional ones I never expected to hear from, and I'll get an email, and it just makes me smile to see that. I'm talking about you, Michelle. Thanks for that email. That really did make me smile last week. Um, I need to quit saying, um, <laughs> like I said, I'm, I'm kind of, I got two weeks left. You guys can see my artwork's disappearing, and I'm kind of getting on the ball, but I, I'm getting this out tonight because tomorrow I have a whole list of things that I want to kind of kick it up a notch and get more stuff done. I'm kind of kind of slacking a little bit. Um, part of it's because I'm terrified. <laughs> this move is starting to scare me, and it shouldn't be. Um, it's not scaring me. It's just a new adventure that I've never quite done on this scale before. So, it is what it is. Uh, like I said, I, I hope to keep in contact while on the road. It might not happen. I apologize now if it does. I want to get some footage as I'm leaving town because uh, I would like to redo a, a a formal goodbye Anchorage. Uh, the other one was kind of a, a cheating. I used it because it was a for them. T. M. Ehrman, who I believe seems to have disappeared off of YouTube. I uh, hope you're okay out there, sir. Um, but uh, it was a response to his three favorite places in your city video. And um, like I said, I kind of I cheated. And I, I do have another installment of that. I have my three favorite places to eat because I like to eat. Three favorite places to eat outside of my own kitchen. Let's put it that way. Um, I like to cook too. So I hope you guys enjoy that. You seem to have enjoyed the other one. It got an incredible amount of views. I, I know it slowed down, but that first day it was 90 some odd views, which blew me away. And thank you so much. Thank you for all the nice emails I got from that. Um, I, I seem to get more emails and comments, but that's great. If you're not comfortable sending some, leaving something for everyone to read, feel free to throw it to me an email. I'm still going to enjoy it. I'm still going to keep it around somewhere to, to go back and take a look at. So I appreciate it, guys. Uh, that's about it. I'm exhausted. In all this getting ready to go, I've been trying to find time to spend time with my family and my friends. And today was a spending time with the nephews and niece. And, you know, five, six, and seven-year-olds just wear me out. That's my dog dreaming. <laughs> Baby girl! Oh, sorry about that. It's a nightmare. Maybe. Um, he said, kids just wore me out today. We had a little art project. So, that's enough of my vlogging. Um, I hope you all have a great week. I hope you enjoy Coco Cana. I hope you enjoyed Jimski, and as usual, if you guys want to have easy access to them, I have a playlist, it's embeddable, do whatever you want with it, um, give you guys a chance to, to get some stuff, um, oh, in regards to last week's feature video, I made the comment about Mr. Boogie, or ultimate Mr. Boogie seemed to have disappeared, and he did give me an email back to let me know he was alright, and he actually has a new channel, there's nothing really up on it yet, but there was Mr. Boogie TV, and he looks, it sounds like he, when he has time, he's got some work he wants to do um, outside of YouTube, but when he has time, you guys will start seeing some more of his stuff again. So when his stuff is back up, I will place the featured video in the playlist that is no longer available with something he has currently. Um, I think that was all I wanted to say. So, back to the original message. Have a great week. I'll uh, hopefully see you guys later this week. If not, I'll see you next Sunday. And